they have like Fook Chain, White Tiger, Green Dragon, Go Shadow, them people, you know, like, they gotta be in the gang. And you're the 80, you gotta be in the gang, you know. Sometimes the Canal Boy is crazy too. Them, them guys crazy. But I know all of them, they're good people. I got, well, like I said, we hang out together. And one thing leads to another, I got in trouble, try to help a friend out. You know, I gotta, I wanna do a hard time, big time. I got a homicide case. It was self defense. The guy tried to take my life, so I did what I have to do. And then I was like, just turn, I was 15, just turned 16. And they arrested, I got arrested. They sent me to that guy. I was a kid, man. You know, and scary too. At first, you know, kid, 16 years ago, going to prison, you know, but I have to pay the consequences. You know, like they say, when you step on fire, you're going to get burned. So that will happen to me. I went to prison, but I stayed in Rock Island for like a year and a half, and then they sent me upstate. Well, my sentence was 721. I wound up through almost 15 years. I did like 14 years, seven months, and two weeks. From that last day, I went to back out, and then they sent me upstate. I do like Elmire. From there, it's a max, max, maximum security. That one is like you don't see outside, all you see is the wall. You know, it's like all the freaking, you got every criminal in there, you know. But inside there, you gotta mind your business. You know, you do what you have to do, just mind your business. You you safe, you know, and don't be freaking scared. You you got to fight, no matter what. When you're inside there, there's always somebody going to pick on you. So, like I said, I was in Elmire, Kasaki. From Kasaki, I went to Green. That's so, I came from, I was in Green for a while, six years I was in Green. They tripped me to another state prison too. Hudson, from Hudson, I went all over the place. For that full, almost 15 years, I went a lot of play, like six, seven prisons in there. They, they move you around, they don't let you keep you there long, but they, I was in green for so long, so they kicked me out of there, because they said you're too comfortable. So you gotta move to another jail. They moved me up there, and then I went up to uh, K. Vincent, that shit, that by Canada. Cold like hell. Long winter, last summer up there. And then I was, I did my time over there. That's when I, they got released. They sent me to immigration. Immigration, I do like four months. That's when they released me. I came out here 2003. From 1989 to 2003, that's a long time. For, for, for me, I, I think it's unfair because the system is messed up. You know, I supposed to be charged as juvenile but they charged me as a dope. And I wanna, you know, who knows, you know, I don't, we don't know nothing, you know. I have a lawyer, but he ain't do shit, pay him do nothing, just to collect money. And I wound up doing like 15 years, like 14 years, seven months, two weeks, and then all my friends, you know. I lost a few friends when I was inside, you know. And then when I came out, I ran a couple of them, you know, but high and by, that's it. It's not like before, you know. Now, like I say, everybody have family right now. I'm just, you know, work, working hard man right now. Just work, do, from seven, whatever. I'm a, I'm a dry, I truck dry right now, you know. And oh, ain't no, no ain't no such thing yet. Ain't no such thing as gang when you inside. You know, no matter you go south, green dragon, fuck chain, whatever. When you inside there, we all stick together. We can be enemy in out here, but when we inside the jail, we all stick together. That's how we came cool, you know. When you out here, you want to eat each other, but when you inside there, we have to stick. Please, cause you got like Yanta, Lang King, Five Percent, and you got Blood Crip, all that shit. But we not gang. We inside. We just like homeboy hang out. I mean, we all have to do time, you know. So we stick together. In in Green, there was like thirty Asian there. We play MJ. Handball, play card, to kill time, you know? That's all we gotta do. Time. We try to kill time. And I mean, it's good. 92, 93, I was in green. It was, it was a fun year, like, like I said, 30 kids. 
it's all like, yeah, when I'm in prison, it's, everybody was gang, like Ghost Shadow, Flying Dragon, BTK, everybody was gang. But when they go in there, ain't no, no, we don't fight each other, we stick together, you know. Because, like I said, a lot of people that will pick on Asian people, and I'm not, 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 not going to let it happen anyway. When I'm there, everybody's cool, we all get along, you know, play in like, a play card, play handball, just play anything just to try to make time go by quick, you know. And, and like 92 is like 30 to 40 Asian was in jail with me, you know. And they got to do what they have to do. Now they came out, they're better men. Work, have a family, you know, that's it. If you want to do the same thing, you're going to wind up in, in jail, you know. Jail is not play to be, man. Try to lock yourself in the room for one week. That's how you're going to feel. You know? They don't have nothing there. You don't have no, nothing. Gonna, no mother, no brother, no sister going to take care of you. You got to watch your back, that's it. And then the only thing that kind of is your a friend that, you know, even though you're out here, you don't get along, but you go in there, you got to count on each other in jail because you don't know who is who. You know, you got vapor, you got mud, you got child molester, everything in there. But the only thing, you don't ask them when you're inside there. You don't ask them what they're here for. They're here for some reason, that's why they're there, you know. Because you ask them, then they, they're looking for trouble. You know, sometimes guy there, vapor, you don't even know, you know, so. But inside there, they don't like, they hate vapor and child molester. When you're in jail, they, all the inmates inside they don't like it, and the snitch. They say when you snitch, you get ditched. That's what we call. It. Cause if you don't do nothing, the time is dragged. Like one hour is like one, <laughs> one one hour like one day inside here, you know. But when you come out here, time fly, you know, quick. You know, I've been out almost like. 17, almost 18 years now, you know. And sometimes I got flashback, you know, oh shoot, gotta wake up. I'm still inside. Of a, you, know. you have to have a strong mind to be inside there. You have a weak mind, I say, you're done. You go crazy in there, you know. Sometimes it's a legit, it's crazy. Think about it, but you gotta learn from You have to learn what you do, you know. Discipline you, work, like I say, just work now. Oh, bad person, just try to be a better person. That's you know, people, you know, they do what they do out there and they come inside and, you know, change. You know, they have no choice but to change your life. Some people, they don't change, they still hard and head, you know, but if you got a time like me, you're going to think twice before what you do, you know. Like I said, I was 15 years old, man. I was, f f what, 14, 14, 15 years old, hanging out with a dog, you know. I don't know my better, you know. But I grew up in jail. I spent half of my life in jail. And I don't want nobody to do spend half of their life in jail either, you know. If you can worry a problem, just walk away, you know. Another day, see the sunlight another day. It's not worth it, you know. When I think about it, I mean, I got flashback, you know, what I did. I don't condone it, but I have to do what I have to do, you know. So, in jail, like I say, mind your business, you safe. You know, don't let nobody pick on you and stuff like that. Everybody will always try to play me. Thank God, I'm still surviving to this day. Because, you know, I get along with everybody. I'm a type of person, you cool with me, I cool with you. If you freaking asshole, I'm gonna be asshole to you. Though. But now everybody have kids. Now everybody change their life. You know, some people got deported. Unfortunately, I'm still here. You know, I got lucky, but you know, like a lot of I lost a lot of fun. Uh, you know, like they got deported back home. You know, so maybe we gonna see each other. Hopefully, we see at next flight. That's the only I can say. I mean, I can't talk with them. A close friend of mine, you know, got sent back to China, Cambodia, 
you know, Vietnam. So, I mean, I just wish them the best. You know, whatever they do, I'll come in. But when, like I say, we all old now, man. We ain't no young no more. Now we're like, we're like 50, now we're gonna climb down. I'm, I'm not there yet. I'm almost there 50, mm -hmm. you know.